Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sims 4 LP and today we are picking up with Roxy, Duncan and a baby Sienna and Duncan is currently at work. Now Roxy has decided that until baby Sienna is you know a child and ready to go to school and whatnot she is going to quit her job up until this point so currently she has no job because she feels that at this point whenever Sienna is small and you know a child or whatever that's important for her to get you know to get that sort of relationship built there without having to you know rush off to work another decision that she has made is uh, she has been she has been thinking now Roxy did make progress in the Big Brother house with you know doing stuff because before she came to the Big Brother house she had Madison the butler and uh, she decided when she came out of the house that she was going to let Madison live her own life and Madison is now married uh, herself but uh, Roxy's still not the best housewife as you can see from the... Uh the disgusting dishes everywhere. So she is going to hire a maid because they can afford it. So she's going to hire a maid after she is eaten so that this place can stay spick and span because it's a big house, you know, it is a big house. So we're going to go for a scheduled maid so that they do come each day. And uh, what Roxy also wants to do is lose some of her baby weight because she is looking a little bit, you know, round in the figure. And as much as there's absolutely nothing wrong with that that's never been Roxy. Roxy's always been you know super trim and things like that and that's the way she likes it. It's not that there's anything wrong with having a curvier figure at all but she just prefers not to have that baby weight. So she's decided to invest in some exercise equipment. So we're just going to go in here and go into activities and skills and pick it out. Now they already have the punching bag outside but we're going to go and get her a treadmill and where will we put this treadmill? Where will we put this treadmill? We'll put it in the spare bedroom for now. For now we'll put it in the spare bedroom. And what we will also do is put it up against the wall and we'll get a TV because she can watch the TV while she is actually working out, which is quite cool. So let's go ahead and put this flat screen TV up. Why will it not go up in the wall? Why will it not go up in the wall? Because it's not a wall TV, Laura, that'll be why. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Right, so let's sell that. So is this a, a wall thing? Yes, it is. Good. So it means that she can watch the TV and, you know, look at the cooking channel and stuff. I'm just going to sell that bed. Um. Alright. Was that a TV in the bathroom? No? No? Um. And once she's done that, she's also... This is going to be a busy day for them. She also wants to plan a dinner party and invite over Abby and the family. So that is her plan. And there's no point in you cleaning up now, darling, because you just hired a maid. So you may as well put that down. You may as well put that down and let's come and work out. Let's come and up here. Oh my God. <laughs> You're actually putting the dishes. What are you doing, girl? Right, come and work out here. So she's acquired the fitness skill. Roxy's new skill in fitness will allow her to perform various workouts and the workout equipment. As her skill increases, more advanced exercises will become available. So get her to watch the cooking channel. Because although she's getting a maid and stuff, you know, the maid doesn't do the cooking for her. So she needs, kind of needs someone to do that. That doesn't look, that's a funny looking cooking channel. Unless it's like... Chef. Ah, it's a chef versus chef kind of thing going you know. on. I could kind of watch this myself. I think I would enjoy this. <laughs> now, baby Sienna is actually came up saying a notification that she was due to age up. Um, and it wasn't long until she ages up. So um, it will be interesting to see her as a child because I don't want her to fall too far behind, uh, too far behind Marcelio or Mauricio. I, do you know what? I forget that child's name. I forget that child's name all the time and uh, yeah, I definitely do forget that all the time. So we're going to let her just work out just a little bit longer. Does she, she gained a skill in working out fitness one. Yeah, so we're going to get her, she's done a little bit so we'll get her to stop that and we're going to get her to come over here and talk to Sienna, Rocco Sienna 
and also cuddle. Now because we got the notification saying that she was aging up, we have the option to age her up now. But uh, we're not. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave her as a baby for the time being. But we're just going to build up the 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 mummy. Oh, I don't know what happened there. The mummy daughter relationship right there. Cute. The Duncan gets home from work when at three p.m. So we are going to have a dinner party, like I say, at that point. Part of me kind of wants to age her up, but then we haven't really seen the baby interactions, so I might not. So we're going to breastfeed her. So you can see that interaction. I really do like the addition of the breastfeeding, because I do feel as if it adds the sort of realism to it as well. Now Roxy has also heard from Davina. She let Davina know that uh, baby Sienna was born. So Davina will be planning a visit. She's desperate to see her. Her and, her and Sky have opened a resort in Oasis Springs. So they're not too far away. So they're definitely going to be planning a visit to, to see her and the baby. And that sounds like the maid coming. So once she's done that, I'm going to ask her to go ahead and take a shower. Because then after that, we need to plan the party. We do. We have to plan the party. And uh, we're going to invite Abby, Noah, and hopefully all the kids and stuff will come. So that they can, you know, also have some time. And they'll be. Roxy is family orientated. So she's happy around about family. So that's great. Family orientated lesson. We've got like loads of these lessons. <laughs> <laughs> they are singing. Singing away. Right, so plan a social event. Now this is the first time I have planned a social event, so just in case you're like we're gonna we're gonna do this together guys. We're gonna figure this out together. Alright, so we are going to have a dinner party. So host an incredible evening of culinary delights and mouth-watering table talk. Hire a renowned caterer or show off your own skills. Gold level include, what does that say? A new kitchen item. Alrighty. So click to invite a sim. So Roxy's going to be the host. She's going to be the host and the guests are going to be what? Only gives me these two options. What? No. Why would it not allow me? Why is it allowing me? Is it because of the time, perhaps? Huh. Right, we'll wait until a bit later on then, just in case it's to do with the time, because she's definitely friends with Abby. You know, so there's no reason why. There's absolutely no reason why she wouldn't be able to invite Abby. Like, none at all. None at all. So let's go ahead and what she's going to do, she's going to go and watch the cooking channel. What we'll do, let's just age up Sienna. Let's age her up. Because it's going to be our birthday today anyway. Whoa, that was quick. <laughs> there we go. Aging from a baby to a child. Childhood, boundless creativity, rule baking and temper tantrums await. Let the games begin. Alright. Select an aspiration. Artistic, rambunctious scamp, social butterfly, or whiz kid. Um, I'm going to go with whiz kid. Smartest girl in school. And pick a trait. I think we should make her... Let's make her... Outgoing. Why not? Okay. So, she's super hungry. She is really, really hungry. It's the Anna McGregor. But we're going to take her in to... What do we want to do? Let's go in and change her appearance. Because I haven't seen the little girl hairstyles. We're going to go in and do that. I can't believe she's aged up. You're probably thinking I've done it too soon. However, there's only so much baby stuff you can see, really. Once you've seen her breastfeed and rock and coon cuddle, there isn't really much to the stage, is there? Oh, look at her. She's our daddy's double and she's a little blondie. And oh my goodness, she's so cute. You are just so cute. You are the cutest wee thing in the world. So, can we change your hair? We can. Good. I want to change your face because there's absolutely nothing wrong with your face. You're adorable. So, what about kids' hairstyles? So, we've got... Oops. Oops. Can we go back to your face? Okay, so we've got a cute little bun. That is so cute. Like, there's a bit falling out of the bun. 
Then we've got that hairstyle. That is so cute. Um, or just the ponytail. Well, you had that one that she aged up with, which is actually quite nice. Or the long hair, or the kind of, hmm, not keen on that. Nah. Nah. Um, why don't we go, actually going to keep that hairstyle that she aged up with. I kind of like that, either that or the bun. That's, that's the two that I really, hmm. Or the pigtails. We go for the pigtails. I don't know, guys. Help me. Help me out. Or will we go for a hat? No. Let's go for, mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't know, I'm so confused. Let's go for the bun because I love the fact there's little bits falling out the bun. And then for her clothes, I see her as a very girly type of sim. I think that she's Roxy's daughter so she's wanting, she'll be, she'll be oh so glamorous for sure. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. I love it. Oh my goodness, they are adorable outfits. We changed the colour though. Love it. I love the yellow. Goodness, I love it. I've not looked at the kids' options. I love it. A little bit in love, guys. Not even going to lie. Absolutely gorgeous stuff here. Good stuff. Right. Let's go ahead and do that. She... And she kind of has her daddy's kind of weakish chin. But, you know, when she's a teenager, she'll probably age up to, to get out of that sort of awkward stage. But I think she is cute. What about her formal wear? Okay, why why would she dress like a boy for formal? Am I missing something? Let's go ahead and put her in a pink dress and some wee pink shoes. Athletic, that'll do. Sleepwear, that'll do. And for a party. I quite like that actually. Let's go for that. So that is our baby Sienna. And they grow up so fast. They grow up so fast. So I want to see if we could possibly, 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 possibly go and visit Abby and see if, uh, if Mauricio or Marcelio or, or whatever, whatever his face is. <laughs> what time is it? It's half past 12. So it's probably doubtful that he's going to be in at this present time. However, we shall, because I would imagine that he'd be at school. So, anywho. Right, so Roxy, I need you to come and, oh my god, look at that! Bills have been just delivered to your mailbox. You owe 8,580 simoleons and have 48 hours to pay before we shut off your utilities one by one. 8,000 freaking simoleons a week to live here. That is mental. Absolutely mental, right? Roxy, come down here and make some grilled cheese for your baby. I cannot believe, cannot believe, I'm shocked. Shocked and absolutely horrified. Roxy just breastfed you. I've no idea why you're still super hungry. That makes no sense whatsoever. She wants to chat with Roxy, which you definitely do. Definitely do that. But she's going to go down, she's going to make you some grilled cheese. I don't think that there's anything else that you can kind of eat. She is absolutely starving. She's absolutely starving. Now, I know that in the last part, we did get, well, two parts ago, we did get Roxy and Duncan engaged. So we will be having a big wedding for sure. But I just want to build up the relationship between the two families so that they can attend as well. And also I want to, you know, dabble in building a wedding venue. Because I would quite like to build a wedding venue. Right, so she is going to, no, what are you doing? What is that you're eating? Oh, your daddy's scrambled eggs. Okay, well, fair enough. Um, do you even need anything to eat, actually? No, you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. Put it away. <laughs> Just sit and talk to your daughter. Just uh, express your admiration for her. And what else? And then hopefully we should be able to organise this flaming dinner party. She's became good friends with her daughter. She wants to chat with someone. We can do beg for new toys. 
<laughs> no, you can't beg for your toy. She wants to tell a joke. So go ahead and do that. So obviously guys, with every LP when you're just getting started, uh, it takes time to build up the, you know, what's kind of going on and stuff. But I think once Sienna and the little guy meet, I think that'll be, that'll be nice. Be best friends and stuff like that. Right, so they're quite happy. She wants to call someone on the phone, so why don't you, why don't you give Abby a little call? Are you... Right, you're uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable? You really shouldn't be uncomfortable at this present time. I'm going to put this in here. Alright, let's see if Roxy can organise this party now. In fact, I know what we're going to do. Roxy, darling, see, instead of doing that, you are going to travel with Sienna. And you're going to go to Abby's house. Yes, you are. Because I would really love before this episode ends for those two to meet. I think that that would be quite nice. I'm not going to force them together. But if they get on together, then that's really what I want. If they get on together and, you know, they do find happiness in each other's company, then that's what we'll do. But obviously it depends how they get on. But let's face it, we all know that it would be cute as anything <laughs> if it actually did happen so loads of the screen taking a little bit longer now the save game is you know there it doesn't take long to go to oh is that him there it is hello Mauricio fancy meeting you here so let's go with a funny introduction Roxy's in her, her workout workout gear what to do you go jogging and you let the let the kids meet. She, two, two blondies anyway. So why don't you talk about toys? Get to know them. Alright, so this looks quite good. So Mauricio is energised. Just an ordinary polite conversation. Can you change your outfit to your everyday outfit? You can, awesome. Let's talk about school. Uh, enthused about candy. These interactions are so cute. Monkey around. So definitely the relationship is building quite, quite good. And uh, what's Roxy doing? Whoa, she's having a, a good jog. A good jog. So let her do that. Oh. <laughs> okay, nice. Brighten his day a little bit. What did you just do? <laughs> Looked like she just scared him, didn't she? Why are you embarrassed? What have you done? What have you done? Right, share your insecurities with him. Why not? And befriend a child is one of her wants. Okay, we can do that. Let's make fun of adults. <laughs> and let's uh, joke about gross food. <laughs> That didn't look too good, guys. Okay, what's happened? It's gone south. It's gone south. Let's talk about school again. Favourite animal and goof around. And where are you? I want you to go jogging. Push yourself to the limits. Okay, so they're back on, back on the, the pleasant track. What was she doing? She was chat. She was... Goofing around with him. Right, so can we go and play on these these monkey bars? Right, so he doesn't like goofing around. He's not a fan. He's not a fan. <laughs> right, Roxy, come over here, sweetheart. And uh, you can work out and push limits. I don't see Abby here. She doesn't seem to be here. Uh, the kids do. The kids do seem to be here, but I don't see Abby. So, because whenever you do that, I wonder if you can, can you knock on the front door? Knock on the door. Rather than use a treadmill, it's, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. No, don't go home. Don't go home. Okay, I want you to build up your relationship on the bars. Can we click on him? Can we click on him? 
Can we do? Can we talk on this at all? No, we can't. However, I love these monkey bars. Look how cute it is. When you can do it, Sienna. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Every faith in you. And Abby is there. Okay, Abby, honey. Heartfelt compliment. And we will be writing her day. Get to know. Because Abby is now, like, <laughs> Abby is now thinner than Roxy, which was never the case. Take a picture together and boast about family. Oh my goodness, you guys better not get burned again on there. Because that, that would be a nightmare. Alrighty, so let's quit doing this. And let's get back to back to chat. Talk about school. She wants to tell a joke, so let's go ahead and do that. Funny. Quote a cartoon character. That's awesome. Okay. What about Telegross joke? They actually look quite similar. Do you not like gross jokes? Well, he does. <laughs> he thinks they're gross, but he likes them. That's quite funny. Enthus about candy. And what else can we do? Mischief. Sorry for going quiet. It's just this is the first time that I've seen like two kids talking. And it's actually quite awesome. So can you go and play with anything else or does it have to be... Try and see if there's any other activities. They could go to the park and Noah is back. Oh my god, that's so cute. That's so cute, Noah. Okay, introduce yourself to your new father-in-law. <laughs> or your father-in-law-to-be. Of course I kid. How are you getting on? Having a good old, good old chat. Good stuff. Share your creative ideas with her. Share a secret. She wants to meet someone new. So do you know Amelia? Let's just do a friendly introduction. Oops. Friendly introduction. Yep. Good stuff. And that can be your person new. I'm trying to build up Roxy's points so that she can get twins because that would be really cool. Tell her a funny story, brighten her day. So yeah, we'll, we'll make sure that with the wedding that they're all available for sure. Like, we're not really interested about Noah. You know, it's nice that he's came out, but we want her to make a friend with a kid like she wanted. So what's our relationship? So Sienna's reached level four of the social skill, which is cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, stop talking to Noah. Go and talk to the go and talk to the wee boy. Okay, so looks like Mauricio is like right. I'm out of, I'm out of here, and it is quite late, so we're going to get them to just head back home now, and then we will get them to be friends. But she's so adorable. I love her so much. Like I actually do love her so much. So guys, tell me down below if you guys have got kids in The Sims 4 and if any of you have had triplets or twins or anything like that, I would love to know about it. As I said, I love your stories as much as anything else, so leave me comments below and let me know what exactly is happening. And I'm going to leave it here because the Duck of Doom is about to sound. And in the next part, we will be spending time with Noah and Abby, and I'm looking forward to that as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know we spent a lot of the time at the house, but that was only because we had the baby, the baby Sienna. And hopefully I'll have a speed build up of the wedding venue which hopefully we'll use and then obviously we have uh, Dada Davina wanting to uh, come over and visit her her girly there so loads loads of plan for this LP so please stick with it as I say the first few parts are always fairly you know awkward as you build up your not awkward but boring as you build up your story but uh, I hope that you enjoyed it anyway and leave me a comment below guys because hearing from you is the highlight of my day and I'll talk to you in the very next episode bye guys <laughs>